Hi guys, welcome back to your weekly readings. This is Riza here. I trust you guys have had a great week so far and are gearing up for the new week coming in. We're going to try to take a little peek at the week that begins on October 21st through to the 27th. Keep in mind we're entering Scorpio territory. So we're going to be working again on healing our wounds when it comes to relationships of all sorts, whether it's romantic, whether it's familiar, whether it's friends, whether it's with self or not. We're going to be digging in deep and pulling up some old wounds. Whether we like it or not, this is just going to happen because it's the way it is. It's the end of the year. We've got to purge, as they say and take out some of the old stuff that we no longer need to be dragging around with us so that we can begin the new year fresh as much as we can. There's going to be some endings, some new beginnings, some cycles that close out due to us purging those old emotions out of the way. New people that come into our lives hopefully and uh, so we can continue to move forward. Life is a series of constant shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress for ourselves and for those around us. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Let's see what other advice we have from the energy cards cornucopia abundance reaching out and pulling in the energies of being very abundant and the abundance that lives around us okay so for most of us we're going to have a lot of abundance as we move through to the end of the year it's going to come in quite unexpectedly and through channels that perhaps we are not expecting or prepared to realize okay for some of us this could be inheritance for some of us this could be at work it could be a promotion at work a raise that no one is expecting and all of a sudden boom everybody gets a raise i mean there's many ways where we can feel abundant this could be abundant in love as opposed to just monetary wise so abundance in everything in life feel the abundance breathe it in attract that energy of feeling abundant with the things that are already there in your lives with what surrounds you okay working on the third chakra working on your power to create to expand to pull in the things that you want in your life focus on the sun focus on the color yellow wear it eat foods that are yellow that bring happiness into your into your mouth into your life there may be a female that assists you as you move through this week, as there is a woman holding a heart for you. This could be your mother, this could be a sibling, this could be a good friend that you have that's going to help you, help you with your abundance. Help you with whatever it is. It could be helping you with a heart. Maybe some of you are going to be introduced to somebody through a woman, through a female that you may know. And lo and behold, there could be your soulmate. You never know but there's a woman that's holding a heart for you for some of you if you are male there's a lady that has been watching you and is holding her heart open for you she's offering you a cup of love so pay attention to those that are around you for those of you that also date women there could be you know a female friend that you've known forever that could be holding a heart for you so if you're a female and you date females, look around, because there could be someone there that is waiting just for you. Alright, let's see what we got here. Confronting your ego as you move through this week. This is also the moon card, so don't be afraid as you move through the darkness. Don't be afraid that perhaps your dreams will never come true. The things that you're hoping for will not manifest. They will manifest. Trust. Trust in the divine. God is in charge of the things that do happen in our lives. Remember, we're also working with divine timing and how well do we confront our ego? How well do we 
push aside our fears, push aside the darkness that perhaps the brings the fear brings into our lives. We have to learn to push that aside so it doesn't affect us. This is also paying attention to your dreams at night. Your dreams could be bringing you messages, so you need to focus on them if you can. Also, there could be some truths that are revealed to you at this time. So pay attention to those around you. Listen to what they have to say. And face your demons. Face your fears. Face your ego so that you can proceed, so that you can move forward. Those old wounds, they need to come up. They need to be healed. Okay. Sometimes we refuse to see what is right in front of us, what's happening in our lives. We don't want to look at it. We don't want to pay attention. And it could live within ourselves. We could be our own worst enemy sometimes with the way that we think and the way that we act. So we need to perhaps take a look at that and quit refusing to see what lives within us, what is right there, the things that we need to work on within ourselves to make our lives happier and those that live with us or live around us happier, okay? Believe. Believe and succeed. Believe that you're on the right path. Believe that everything happens for a purpose, for a reason. Believe in the things that you need to work on so that you can succeed, so that you can move forward. This is the Six of Swords. There's a way to move forward. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You see the light. You're going in the right direction. Believe that you are on the right path. And the things that are happening are happening for a reason. Let's see what this week holds for us, okay? A well-deserved reward. So the cornucopia could be a well-deserved reward when it comes to work, when it comes to a romance, a new partner that steps into your life. It could be a new home. Look, look at the big monument that you have had to scale, clawing your way up. You finally make it to the top. You finally are in a place where you hold a position of power, where you feel triumphant, and you're going to receive a reward. And what area of life that is? Well, it all depends on what you've been working really, really hard. And for some of you, it could be love. Love abounds, the Ace of Cups. So there's someone coming into your lives. For some of you that are single, or even if you are in a relationship, your love deepens because you deserve a reward. You've been working very, very hard on that relationship, and now something happens to bring in a reward. For some of you, it could be a baby. It could be getting pregnant. It could be a child that brings in the reward, something that your child does, something that they say where your love just overflows. Also be careful because this could also represent an outburst of emotion. You get carried away, you're in a heated discussion, and all of a sudden you say a bunch of stuff that you don't really mean. So be careful because it could be an overflow of affection or emotion that goes wrong. <laughs> so be careful about that. But now, for those of you that are single, this could also represent somebody new that has come into your life that you have recently met or someone that you're about to meet haven't met them yet but you well deserve this reward because you've worked hard for it you have waited you have you have saved yourself you have done everything right in order to attract a new love into your life a significant soulmate so be aware that that's on its way and learn to embrace the cycles that are closing out in your life and the new ones that are beginning this is the world card <coughs> Excuse me, this could represent a well-traveled person that comes into your life, someone that likes to travel, someone that you meet while traveling, or just a big, huge cycle of your life that is about to close so a new one can begin. And for some of you, it's a partnership. For some of you, it's something that you truly love to do. It could be a craft. It could be a project. It could be a trip that you take. So... Whatever it is, you deserve it, and you're going to love it. So keep moving forward during this week. Success and growth. This is the Eight of Wands. This is a very rapid change, rapid movement forward, successful movement forward. This could be at work, something that you really like doing, and all of a sudden the boss notices you and goes, Hey, you really like this position. You look good in it. You're doing a great job. I'm going to give you a raise. Or you, this is your new position from now on. So something happens. 
where you have a lot of growth and a lot of success. This could be a relationship as well. Somebody just seems it comes out of nowhere and they're just the right fit for you. So keep going, folks. It's time to release this sadness and isolation, feeling like you are just all by yourself and there's no one there to reflect back at you. All of these beautiful cards are telling me that this is on its way out of your life. So whatever you've been struggling with is going to close. That big cycle is not going to interfere in your life anymore. Because from now on, you're going to have something very positive that you're going to be reflecting because you're going to learn. You're going to fight this. You're going to fight this ego. You're going to fight this darkness, the fear. You're going to open up. What you have been refusing to see, you're, you're about to start seeing it. You're going to face it. You're going to stop blocking your heart. You're going to open up so that you can see. Because you're going to release it. You're going to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel from all that hard work that you're about to undertake. Everything that you've done to open up your heart to others, to yourself, really. Because once you start opening up to others and loving unconditionally, that love is returned by the universe tenfold. That cycle will end so a new one can begin so that you can embrace the new love that is coming into your love, your life, and all the changes that success will bring. And growth, because you're moving forward very, very rapidly, okay? This sadness and isolation, you're facing away from it. So you're moving away from this now, thankfully, that will no longer affect you. The next card is the Empress. So nurturing the things around you, the cornucopia, finally. You're able to manifest the wonderful abundance around you that you have dreamed of, that you have worked hard to, to achieve, no matter what area of your life that is. So this week, guys, you're going to be working really, really hard to move away from your ego, the darkness that's going to come up, the little wounds that you're going to start healing looking at them for what they truly are, looking at yourself. What can you do for yourself to help yourself? Where relationships are concerned around you, your family, your friends, your significant others, what can you do to make that bond deeper, stronger with all of the people around you? How can you close the old cycles out of sadness, of being isolated, of feeling that you're alone, that nobody, nobody stands with you? Close that cycle. So that the new cycle that is waiting to come up can open. Okay? Because love is all around you. It abounds you. It's, it's everywhere. You just need to notice it and you need to work with it so that you get more of it. So that more of it comes. Okay? To where you feel completely abundant. For some of you, again, it could be a baby because here is the Empress with the Ace of Cups in the same reading. That tells me that some of you are trying really, really hard to get pregnant and you're going to. By the end of this year, you're going to be pregnant, and congratulations for your new child that's coming up. For some of you, it's something that you've been working very, very hard to manifest, and it's about to manifest in your life, so don't give up. Keep moving forward, because it's coming, okay? I guess it's a relationship reading after all. All right. I'm going to do the interactive part, A, B, or C. With some heart-shaped cards. Very, very hard to shuffle. <laughs> All right. A, B, and C. <laughs> very well shuffled. Like A. Stop shuffling. Angel. All right, guys, before I get to the interactive part, I would love it if you guys would thumbs up my video, share my videos with your friends, comment underneath my videos. That way, YouTube can move me up in the ranks. I am going to be opening up for more readings. Please check my blog, risestoro.blogspot.com. I'll have the address down below. See if there's any readings that you like. I'm also going to be opening up some readings for those of you that would like to have me give you a reading at the beginning of each month. I'm going to start one at a special price. 
so if you're interested in that write to me and I will send you my link and I'll explain to you what that is I'm going to be putting it on my blog so that you guys can see it I'm also probably going to put a video out just for that so be aware that that's going to be coming up and it will have a special price for those of you that would like a monthly reading that gives you an overview of what you're going to go through each and every month and I'll give it to you at the beginning of each month all right for those of you that chose a beautiful card the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith so for those of you that thinking that nothing is ever going to change I don't know how long this is going to last the past is behind you now there's a new path right in front of you start walking it start taking that new path because healing already has begun in your life this is a six of swords again moving forward seeing the light at the end of the tunnel working on your heart chakra you see where she has that light working we're working on our heart we're working on relationship the angels are asking you to lean on God and the angels for support as you move through, as you break away from the old cycle and move into the new one. Dear God and angels, I give you this, briefly describe your situation, now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Okay? Remember, you're just ending a cycle, you need to walk out of it and into the new one that's coming into your life there's a new path that's already available to you you need to notice it and start moving towards it okay have confidence for those of you that chose B time you're trying too hard for something in particular give it time there's something that you're trying to manifest in your life but it's not happening yet you need to give it a little bit of time. See, you have the magician as well. You're trying really, really hard to manifest something, but the timing is a little off. So you need to work on your timing and you need to slow it down a little because whatever it is you're trying to manifest, it's not time yet. Okay, and here you have your children are watched over by angels. Dear guardian angel of my children, born and unborn. Thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best way to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. You're being asked to release the need to know everything that's going on with your children or have the, the fear of thinking that something could go wrong if you're not there release that because the angels are watching over your children you need not worry about that and for those of you that don't have children and you get this card this is representing your inner child your inner child is being watched over by the angels and they're trying to help you heal those wounds that you have from childhood that are still there it's what started the reading it's those wounds that we're going to be pulling out from the deepest parts of our soul at this time with Scorpio and Venus being re in retrograde and Scorpio at this time it's expansive with Jupiter in there Jupiter is also in in Scorpio and it's about to move into Sagittarius so for those of you that are listening to me that are Sagittarians we're about to get blessed at the beginning of November with Jupiter coming back into our sign. Thank God, <laughs> quote unquote. We could use it. But right now it's going to expand everything about Scorpio as it moves away. So you need to release, release anything that, that comes up within the next couple of weeks. There are wounds that you need to heal, okay? And for those of you that chose B, it's your inner child that's being worked on. So remember that. I'm sorry if it's a little dark too. It, it got dark on me. I've been doing readings all day and uh, sorry. <laughs> it's all I can say. But just listen. Just listen. If you can't see the card properly, I'm apologizing now so I don't, you know, 
have to do it later. For those of you that chose C, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another person, now is time to give it to yourself. So it's time for you to look within, focus on yourself. Working on you will then in turn work on others. Your reflection that how you see other people will change and everything in your life will also change. So work on yourself. You're being asked to go within and work on yourself. Again, what this whole reading is about. Detach from the outcome. Detach. Set yourself free. Detach from the things that you want to manifest at this time. Because the angels, God is in control. They'll help bring the balance back into your life that you're hoping to bring into your life, okay? This is all about being fair, the outcome, the balance that you need, okay? Relax, it's coming. Pay attention to your dreams. Thank you for tucking me in bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderful, restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this. Describe the specific situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. Archangel Michael is going to assist you in your dream time. So pay attention to your dreams if you can and give it a little prayer before you go to sleep so that that... The angel can help you detach from this situation and help you heal it, whatever this is. You will know you're being asked to step away from focusing on other people and go within because there's something that you specifically need to work on. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. I truly love you. I'm sending you lots of love and blessings your way. Thank you for those of you that have contacted me for a reading. I thank those of you that have been referring your friends to me. I thank you. There's a special thanks there for someone that I will send a special thank to in an email. Also, thank you guys for your support, for your donations to my site. Everything that's donated to my site goes right back into it, either buying new decks or buying equipment. I do appreciate you guys and any donation is appreciated and none of it is too small. Even if, if it's a dollar and you donate it to my site through my PayPal links, I would appreciate it because every little bit gets turned around and goes right back into my readings. Know that I really care about you guys. I'm sending you lots of love this week and next week is coming really quickly and I will give a reading for Halloween because Halloween is right around the corner. And then we're going to be looking at my favorite holiday, which is Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye for now, guys. Talk to you soon.